your boys just Zanaki here on my happy little uh, Polish pop bench. Uh, decided to get out of the house a bit. I think it's kind of just a bit boring to always be in the house. So anyway, I thought I'd just like recap on what happened versus uh, Cypher. That was a really interesting match because um, I know Cypher is a very good player and at the moment I'm not really sure if he's really in this element. So in the first map it was Strog versus Ranger. Classically, uh, I was a bit nervous at the start of the game and I think that's where he kind of took uh, that 2-0 early lead. I had a good feeling that the way you can play Ranger in that matchup and even just on that map, as you can see, there was many moments where, you know, using the orb to teleport behind him. I think the orb just has more utility on that map because it's very hard to use the peeker against uh, against Ranger and as you can see just um, you know the amount of space that the orb creates even if you don't use it just manages for me to just be able to do better there. The next five seconds is Zeneca is gonna try and make the approach for it and actually decided to drop down its stand and take down Cypher that was a great play. Then map two there was that really crazy score blowout and I think what would really happened there was you know I've noticed that when you actually do take uh, quite a sizable lead, especially in some matchups, it's very hard for uh, players to come back. And as soon as I was already kind of like 6 0 in the first two minutes, I knew that uh, even if I played it slow, just the way that I could trade throughout to the rest of the game, it was going to be very hard for him. And I think he kind of knew that. And that's why, as much as he was kind of just like throwing himself at me, I, I knew that. Um, you know, the, such a big score lead was going to be tough for him. I don't know he could do much better than that. I think he just like wasn't really quite into it. Finally, the last map was Aizen versus Galena. Uh, this is also quite an interesting matchup because I think the turret and Aizen on this map just kind of has a bit more space for being able to kind of push the Galena around. And even if you have totems, you know, just how much that the, the turret will prevent somebody from pushing or just push people away. And that's kind of um, that's kind of why Eisen I think is a little bit better in that matchup. But you do have to play it quite specifically, so they don't get the value from the totems. Easily cleaned up from Zanaku and just uh, a little bit better play there from Zanaku across the board, really. So seven to two is going to be the final score on map number three. Zanaku goes up three zero over Cipher. I kind of went in with the strategy of what I wanted to do in the best of three, and he won the coin toss, so that means that he was always going to pick clutch or, or basically play it. And with the recent uh, buff, I thought I'd play it on map one. Again, just so many things with this game, and like, you know, having the mental fortitude because um, I actually think I could have won this map. There was a moment where he was like 4 HP in the middle, and I knew that he was low. Um, but then he like got the armor and got the health bubble and again he barely survived. It was actually a pivotal moment with like rotating control which I could have like you know actually had a uh, better spacing in the game. For map two you know there was like no frags all the way up until six minutes um, and again just the way that he gets these kills and I had an expectation that he was going to play well on Blood Covenant that's why he uh, usually bans this map and well he was ready with Slash and he did a lot of things that I guess I just wasn't prepared uh, I didn't expect that he was going to be good at. Um, and so in future, you know, instead of picking Galena, just picking a different character that can actually like, you know, kind of catch up with him rather than picking, uh, well, instead of picking Galena. There were just a lot of moments, you know, he was hitting a lot of damage. I think in this case, it's like if I'm applying more pressure, if I'm feeling more confident, it's like, you know, it doesn't mean that he can hit that damage so easily. So that's kind of like what I'm looking forward to. And then, you know, next time I play him. Step of his game, but I have to say what I'm witnessing here is a Razy that is a bit more in line with the one that we were regularly impressed with uh, overall I actually not really you know I'm not really disappointed by how I how I played if I want to beat somebody like him you know when I play other players it's they're not so mechanics heavy but his mechanics is like a 12 out of 10 and when you play that uh, in a game of quake well you know sometimes it doesn't matter how good your items or your positioning is he's just gonna he's just gonna kill you no matter what so I didn't have a think about that I'm gonna plan better for next time and uh, we'll see anyway guys uh, thanks for watching my next match will be against Rafa and uh, well he's also playing quite hot as well you know practicing for a lot of 2v2 um, but you know what I can win that match I genuinely believe so so we'll have to see how we go anyway see you guys there and thanks for watching Thank <sighs> you.